In this video, we will demonstrate how to search through a census dataset from 1994. We will learn how to import a spreadsheet into MATLAB as a table. Then we will learn how to search through the dataset to only find the data that meets our conditions. First, we will import it as a table, and this is recommended as it becomes very convenient to access the data in this format. Notice that the data belongs in the class of numbers and categorical. Because the census data puts the individuals into a defined set of categories, such as work class, and because there is a predefined set of work class types, such as working for the federal government or being self-employed, the categorical class data is the recommended data type for representing our data here. Now we can hit the import selection icon and the table will be imported into our workspace. Our first objective here is to filter the data based on individuals that have undefined work classes. Our second objective is to filter it based on baby boomers who work for the federal government. Let's see how many categories of work classes we're dealing with to begin with. You can use the group summary function to see this. It appears that there are several individuals that are not defined in any work classes. Real-world data is often incomplete, and it is important to be able to identify such data so you can make a decision on what to do with it. In our case, we only care about identifying the undefined data, so let's do that right now. We can use the isUndefined function to return a logical array of ones and zeros telling us whether the individual either has a undefined work class or not. 1 means the individual's work class is undefined, and 0 means it actually does belong in a work class, such as federal government. All of the individuals in the census either gets a 1 or a 0 in this logical array, and we only want to see the ones that have a undefined work class. The logical array itself isn't all that useful to look at, but we can now use it to index into the overall dataset to return only the individuals that have an undefined work class. Additionally, you can directly return the index values of the data that has an undefined work class in the event you want to either remove the data or manipulate it in some way. You can do this by using the find function with the same input as before. In fact, you can use the find function with any other condition that you want and it will return the index values of the data that meet such conditions. We can use this index to extract the individuals who belong in the undefined work class. Let's take a moment to go over what we just did with the logical array with a simpler example. Let's say we have an array with NANs, which stands for not a number, which we will want to ad identify and replace with actual numbers. We can use the isNan function to return a logical array of ones and zeros. You can see that the ones are in the same place as the NANs. Now we can use the find function to return the index of the NANs, which we then can use to index back into the array and finally replace them with numbers. Now let's remove all of the information from the table that belongs to individuals with an undefined work class. We will index into our table and set all of the rows associated with an undefined work class to an empty square bracket. Now let's find our baby boomers who work for the federal government. First, we will call adult data and set the conditions with the age range of 56 to 74 years. The boomer variable stores only the individuals that fit the baby boomer age range. Then, finally, we will call the boomer variable we just created and set the conditions that they must work for the federal government. The boomer gov variable stores only the boomers that also work for the federal government. In conclusion, we took a census data set in the form of a table and used indexing, logical arrays, 
and conditions to separate the undefined work classes and the baby boomers working for the federal government from the rest of the data. If you want to practice more with the census data set or learn more about the functions used in the video, please see the links in the description.